What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the shop and we are going to be checking out a new Jeep build that we're going to be doing on the channel. So a couple of months ago, I put out a video when I was introducing the Jeep TJ build that I was going to be building another Jeep to kind of go head to head with it. And here it is. So this is a 2000 Jeep Cherokee XJ four wheel drive 4.0 automatic transmission mission Dana 30 in the front. It's got the Chrysler 8.8 .8 rear axle and it definitely lives up to the name This Jeep is actually Chris's Jeep. Say hey, Chris. Hey. I'm sure y'all remember him helping me get the bumper on, but we're gonna be building this Jeep for him. So I would say the black TJ with all the Moto Build armor and the Rubicon 44 8.8 .8 rear, that I would say was a mid-range build. Um, it did cost quite a bit, but this one, we're going low budget. We're gonna go as pretty much affordable as possible with this build. And we're gonna see if it'll hang with the mid-range TJ build. My plans are now that we got the TJ up and running, we're gonna start building this and we're actually gonna take them on some wheeling trips together and kind of put them head to head and see which one you know would, would benefit you the best. That's what this video series is kind of mainly about, whether you would rather spend the money, go ahead and invest the money in good quality parts or keep it affordable and just fix what you need to fix whenever it breaks. And let me know in the comments, have y'all ever built a low budget Cherokee? Because I would like to check some of these out because we're still kind of figuring out the direction that we want to go with this build. So definitely let me know. So this Jeep, I'll be honest with you, is pretty rough. It has a lot of things that need fixing before we can actually put any of the parts on it. So I'm sure you've noticed this massive pile of parts over here in my shop over the past couple of weeks. We've been getting things here and there. We got some steering. We got a new suspension system from Rough Country that we'll be putting on. And we've got just some other things um, that we'll be doing. So one of the main things that I definitely would stand behind and I actually recommended that we do are these frame stiffeners. And I'll put a link in the description below for these frame stiffeners. So the Jeep currently does have some sort of lift kit on it and I'm not really sure. It looks like it's just springs and it looks like it's got some rusty shocks but it's got factory control arms and it does have, I think these are like 32s or something. So it does already have 285, but we're going, I believe we're gonna go with a different tire for this. And the paint is less than ideal, but like I said, this is budget. And let me show you the inside here. Oh yeah. Here's the inside. Typical Cherokee stuff. It's got ducks, most importantly. But it looks like the front seats are back there. The floors aren't that rusted, but it looks like they're leaning that way. So we'll have to fix that. So it looks like somebody already tried to halfway build this thing. They put some uh, tubular four x four metal, kind of made a bumper out of that, which isn't bad. It's just not really my style, but, and you can see they hacked up the fenders right here. That fender's kind of hacked. And then this, this is probably one of my favorite things. That's just kind of chilling in there. Everything's just kind of chilling. So it's kind of held in with hopes and dreams. So we got to fix all that, we'll probably, actually get some decent fans in here. 
when I pop the hood, things don't get much better. You can kind of look around and see that there's like this dusty rust all over everything. And that pretty much tells me that this Jeep has had some overheating issues. It looks like it blew a hose off and it got dirty coolant everywhere. And you can definitely tell that by looking at the hood. So anytime that you go look at a vehicle, always look at the hood and see for any telltale signs of explosions like right here. I mean, you can even see the drips and everything where this Jeep overheated and blew a radiator hose off or something like that. See, this is just held on. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna be trying to clean this all up just so that way it looks nicer. So one of the very main concerning issues that I have found with this Jeep is rust. So these unibodies are not getting any younger and they are actually starting to pop up more and more rusty. So definitely if you're looking at one of these Cherokees, be mindful of what you're buying and let me show you. So you may have seen whenever I walked by right here, oh man, you know, that's a bad rust spot, you know. Yes, it's pretty bad and it looks like somebody tried to spray paint it and um, they did a terrible job. But, you know, this, this can be cut out. I'm not, I'm not necessarily worried about this. But if you look right there, right there on the unibody. So we're about to go underneath the Jeep and I did get the gas tank out of the way just so I can show you exactly what I'm up against. But uh, check this out. Look at that. That is terrible. You yourself were going to look at a Cherokee and you found anything close, remotely close to being this bad, I would probably walk away. Um, this is gonna be a lot of work and it's gonna be a huge pain in the butt to get to, but I'm gonna show you how to fix it. It may not be the prettiest, but I'm gonna show you how you can fix this. So, so just in case that you bought a Cherokee and it has some unibody rust like this, I'm gonna show you how you yourself could fix it at your house. I'm trying to get different angles of it, but you can see on the inside here, I mean, it just rusted all past the bump stop and then all the way to where the gas tank, so the gas tank bolts up right here. And it looks like there's solid metal up to like right there. So I'm gonna have to cut all of this out and then box it back up and basically rebuild the unibody. So yeah, that rust is gonna be a huge problem and it's gonna be a huge pain. But like I said, I'm gonna show you how we can fix it. Um, uh, it'll probably be in the next video on this that I'll fix it. I kind of just want to do an introduction to this project on this video. So I pretty much made a list of everything that needs to be done. And I really like to make these lists whenever I start a big project like this because you can pretty much get lost in these projects. I'm sure some of y'all know, you know, when you have a massive pile of parts and a massive pile of Jeep in your shop and you have all this stuff, it can get really overwhelming. But I've come to find out if you make lists like this, it definitely helps out. Like for example, I've already dropped the gas tank. So if you mark that out, see how satisfying that is? And so like, you know, whenever I clean the engine bay, I can just mark through that. So kind of a game plan for this build after I get the rust all fixed and kind of under control, um, I'm going to put the frame stiffeners on that way. It really solids up the rigidity of the unibody. Cause that is an issue on these Cherokees. Even if you don't wheel them hard, I've seen them, even the weekend wheelers, they can crack in the unibody in some places. So we definitely don't want that. And I'll be putting on a four and a half inch rough country suspension kit. 
And like I said, I'll be going through all of these things in detail. I'm going to be fixing the interior, getting seats back in it, go ahead and rhino lining everything kind of I want to stop the rust on the inside of the cab there because as rusty as this Jeep is, and I've already got surface rust underneath where the seats and the carpet uh, should be, that's gonna eventually rust through and then I'll have rust holes in the floor. So I want to prevent that. I'm basically gonna go from start to finish. So say that you bought one of these $500 Cherokees and you want to see how you could build it on the more affordable side of things. That's what we're doing here. So I'm going to be going through in detail how to fix the rust, the suspension kit, and basically how to get this thing into where you could drive it every day. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I know this was a very short one, but like I said, I just wanted to introduce this Jeep, go ahead and get it on the channel. And that way I can go ahead and start working on it. I'm going to go dive right into that rust repair. So if you would please like this video, make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of the content for this XJ build. Anyway guys, I really appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you on the next one. Allah, 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 Allah.